Hello, my name is Igor Posovets and I will show you in this and following video training clips on the Bones Pro homepage techniques for creating amazing real-time skin adjustments and skin deformations with minimal effort. As first, to understand the full power of Bones Pro and its incomparable easy way to set up 3D characters, we will have to look back at the current solutions for 3D mesh skinning. Working in Autodesk 3D Studio Max forces you to rely on the standard skin solution. We know it all and we spend days and years trying to get some realistic, soft, organic look with this tool. While I am talking here, you can already see on the screen the preparations for our comparison scene. Some things get most obvious when explained in a simple way, so we will use a simple 3D primitive cylinder, representing a finger, to show how skin and bones pro work. I will place now, just as by my index finger, three bones inside a cylinder. We have to deal later in the almost all cases with the animated structures and characters, so let us create few keyframes already in the beginning. This has the following advantage. Our both comparing fingers will have the identical base form and move in an identical way. The blue finger will be the standard 3DS Max skinned object. Following the standard workflow, we will assign the bones to the blue finger and play the animation. Now, let us take a closer look at the result. No artist and no human on this planet would describe this result as smooth organic skin deformation. It looks ugly, but even more, it is technically absolute primitive. Each bone drags brutally each part of the skin, causing sharp edge on the ankle. On the inner side, the things look even worse. Polygons are crunching and ruthlessly penetrating each other and the mesh. Skin offer helps in form of envelopes. Those virtual capsules can be resized in order to grow or shrink the influence. You can now spend minutes trying to get it work, but you will at the end land by picking each vertex and tune its influence value for the selected bone. At this moment, skinning turns to agony and it is neither fun anymore nor art. I will stop here with the skin, since it can take very long time to get some reasonable result, and move to the new skinning tool, Bones Pro. Just like by skin, you add Bones Pro modifier on the top of your mesh and assign bones to it. Let us play the animation again. The difference is obvious. Our red finger, skin with Bones Pro, bends in a completely different way. It looks smooth, the skin is elastic. Yet, we still want the skin to look less gummy and more impregnated. Bones Pro offers amazing simple tools and visualizations to adjust the skin look. If you press Visualize button in Bones Pro interface, you will get prompt the X-ray representation of your skeleton and skin. This technical overview allows us to easily locate, select and change the bone values. In our case, I will select the middle bone and lower the influence a bit. I will repeat this on the other two bones by simply moving the influence spinner. The skin moves and bends in an organic way in real time on our screen. Tuning the parameters becomes actually a fun, since the mesh starts behaving like a real piece of living flesh. By adjusting only those two parameters, fall of the bone and its strength, we have got in 50 seconds the final result. A simulation of a bending finger with nice realistic folds on the inner side and organic, correct and not disrupted ankles on the outer side of the mesh. For the end, we will fly around our scene and compare those two results. The look of the red finger, done with the Bones Pro, is definitely a solution we can use for skinning of our 3D characters for cinematics or games. We can show it to our customers without shame. And most of all, without breaking our project deadline, since the skinning time with Bones Pro is many, many times shorter than with a custom solution.